In this lab review, we're going to look at the male reproductive system. Looking at this model, we see the penis, the prepuce or foreskin, the external urethral orifice, the corpora cavernosum, corpora means body, and this means the cavernous body, the corpus spongiosum, again that means spongy body, the prostate gland, the ejaculatory duct emptying into the prostatic urethra, and here is the prostatic urethra, then we have the membranous urethra, and then the penile or spongy urethra. Next is the scrotum and a testis. Looking at another part of the model, again we have the penis, the prepuce, the testis, the epididymis, the spermatic cord, the ductus deferens or vas deferens coming up over the pubic ridge here, the pubic bone, going up over the, the bladder, here's the urinary bladder, behind the ureters, and then right here is going to be the seminal vesicle. Now if we could take this model and turn it around to look at the back, this is what it would look like. Again, we have the ductus deferens or vas deferens. It widens out into the ampulla. Then we have our seminal vesicles. The ejaculatory duct is where the seminal vesicle in the ampulla of the vas deferens or ductus deferens comes in. Again, emptying into the prostatic urethra. Here we have the sperm. The acrosome is this little cap here containing an enzyme. The head of the sperm. The midpiece of the sperm. And that's going to contain the mitochondria. And then we have the tail of the sperm. And I hope this helps.